you'll leave the Peterson House and you'll walk into the Center for Education and Leadership and you'll take the elevator to the fourth floor. And when the fourth floor doors open, you'll be walking out into like a 19th century street scene. And it's, you'll be going back in time essentially to April 15th, 1865. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a very neat immersive effect. Uh, from there you'll walk into um, basically what is essentially a reproduction of the funeral train car that carried Lincoln's body back to Springfield, Illinois. Uh, and from there, you'll have an opportunity to do uh, uh, Funeral Train Interactive after you leave the Funeral Train car, um, which is gonna be really, really neat. And it's gonna uh, give you the opportunity to follow that journey back, which was essentially the same journey he took on his way to Washington, D.C. when he became president. And the rest of the floor is really dedicated to um, the manhunt for John Wilkes Booth and the capture and trial of the conspirators. Two of the neatest elements on the floor, um, one is an escape route um, LED map, interactive map. So it'll be fun, it's a giant map, it's beautiful, and you'll be able to follow um, step by step or stop by stop uh, how John Wilkes Booth and David Harold, his accomplice, left DC, stopped at Mary Surratt's ta tavern, stopped at Dr. Mudd's house to get his leg set, hid in the pine thicket for five days and, and eventually made it into Virginia across the Potomac after two tries and, and then uh, eventually his capture. So it's, uh, and then sort of the ultimate uh, and wrap up for that area and that floor is um, a recreation of the tobacco barn where John Wilkes Booth was captured. And this is uh, sort of a 3D uh, interactive light and sound uh, show that the visitor gets to take part in. So you'll get to approach the barn, you'll be hearing night sounds, and the visitor gets to peek through the slats of the barn and they'll get to see the shadowy figure of John Wilkes Booth hiding in the barn. They'll hear the horses come up and, and all of the action that ensues, um, you know, basically Booth surrounded, the capture, the drama, and uh, his ultimate demise at the hands of Boston Corbett where he is shot. So. Um, then you'll be able to move down to the next floor um, and on your way down you'll see um, some signage that talks about sort of what happened to the rest of Lincoln's family um, and how there really are no living direct descendants of Abraham Lincoln but you'll find out what happened to Mary and Tad and Robert. Um, and then as you descend to the third floor you'll see um, a mural that talks about um, uh, reconstruction uh, sort of how Reconstruction happened, how it happened without Abraham Lincoln, um, sort of some of the backsliding that happened with Andrew Johnson in charge, and, and when there was an eventual changeover from the radical Republicans to the more conservative Democrats. Um, then you'll enter the third floor, which is really all about Abraham Lincoln's legacy. And there you'll get to learn about the memorialization of Abraham Lincoln. You'll get to learn about um, how we as a culture have memorialized him and then also sort of taken him and made him our own, turned him into a pop culture icon. Um, you'll also get to experience um, really how um, a variety of presidents have looked to Lincoln to look to his leadership to, for guidance and how um, Republicans and Democrats have both used the words of Lincoln, the exact same words of Lincoln several times to uh, support a political cause or um, a point that they were trying to make. So you'll also get to see um, how the world not only reacted to Abraham Lincoln's death, but really how, how he has inspired leaders and people all over the world um, in a variety of different ways, whether it's personal leadership style or um, uprisings, the formation of new governments in places like Africa. The end of um, the floor uh, really deal, there's, a, there's gonna be a, a video wall, multi-screen video wall, uh, that really is, the idea of it is to bring Abraham Lincoln into now, you know, and into the future. And uh, it's, the idea of it is it's a remix of Lincoln's own words, um, and it's kind of a spoken word piece uh, that incorporates lots of images and um, still images, moving images, um, contemporary and historic. Um, there's a spoken word troupe that um, is performing these, this sort of remix. Um, and it's just really to make people think about the fact that the work that Lincoln started is still in progress. It's st democracy is still a work in progress. The work that Lincoln started is still a work in progress and really it's, it's our duty and our responsibility as American citizens to carry that forward and continue to make his legacy relevant.